That's right, kids. It's time to cut some glass. We had some very strange things going on on our boat. Like that sound, for instance. What the heck do you think that is? If you guessed our extendo bilge hose on the shop vac, you'd be right. Our buddy Brandon with Perdido Sailor recommended we do this so we could suck dust at the cut site but blow the exhaust overboard. Now why it made this funny sound though, I can't tell you. It was a funny sound. We didn't mind though, as long as it worked. I got in there and started cutting and Philip was sucking around me like a dental hygienist. And I apologize kids for the angle of the camera here. Whether or not GoPro could see what I was doing was just not at the top of my list of priorities. Actually, one of the hardest things about this job that I would have never anticipated was my ability to see what I was doing. You remember this bit. I know, I look funny, but look at me, I also look blind. Our goggles were completely fogged, it was just so hot in those suits, and trust me, I was only wearing a sports bra and undies, there was no way to cool down. Every time we put the goggles to our face, they started to fog up. Visibility was a real bitch on this project. Another real problem was maneuverability. You have to recall, we're trying to sit and squat and cut in a space about this big. But we were finally able to see some progress when I cut my first big piece out. It was a short-lived victory though because we had to get right back to it. But pretty soon we had the aft stringer all cut out and now it was just time to dig. It was nice though to at least be able to take off our goggles and just breathe for a minute. We were starting to get some really big chunks out. And, hey look, I finally got the camera angle right. Kudos, Video Annie. We cut until nightfall. We were like crazy coal miners on our boat. But before we completely gutted the aft stringer, we wanted to cut just a little sliver of glass off the four stringer to see what we were dealing with there. And I have to warn you folks, this is pretty graphic. Yeah, even more rotten than the other. But Philip had some good news. Yeah, cut more. You can tell I'm real excited about it. But still trying to stay positive. <laughs> After hours of digging, we were finally able to do it. Reach bottom. not going to believe this, but we were able to dig out by hand each stringer down to the hole. There was absolutely nothing left other than fiberglass walls.
But our job didn't end there. Once we'd made a rotten mess of the bilge, there was only one thing left to do. Fortunately, he was right. We couldn't leave it like that. As much as I wanted to trash my hazmat suit and call it a day, we had piles of wood and mulch capable of clogging the bilge pump, so we had to clean the entire thing up before we could leave the boat for the evening. Our shop vac fills pretty quickly, so many trips were made, <laughs> which is what led to this sentiment. Let's just say it was a long day, but at least we were through cutting the glass. Listen to our entertaining little DIY debriefing to assess our progress. We sent that picture, and Brandon mentioned something about smooth edges and no rough angles. He'll be coming next time to inspect our work. But what do you think? How'd the DIYers do? Are we done? Videos? Awesome! Subscribe on YouTube and go to havewindwilltravel.com where you can follow along on the blog, check out my books on Amazon, or help us give the gift of cruising on Patreon. Get inspired and get on board!